Number 42, letter A. Verify that a 19% decrease in laminar flow through a tube is caused by a 5% decrease in radius, assuming that all other factors remain constant. All right, so I need a formula that relates these two, and uh, this one does a nice job of it, right? It relates the flow rate, Q, to the radius. All right, now those are the two important pieces here, so I'm going to just highlight them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create... Uh, an equation or a ratio just involving those two because I know all of the other variables here, right? All of these variables, including pi, are staying constant. So the only two things that are changing are the ones I highlighted there in yellow. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write Q, I'll call it original, right? The flow rate original will equal, and let me do it this way, it will equal the radius original raised to the fourth power. Now, since I'm creating a ratio, obviously this isn't true, right? I mean, there, there's a whole bunch of other factors that I, I need to state that. But since I'm creating a ratio, I'm going to now put the uh, new flow rate will be equal to then the new radius raised to the fourth. And now this proportion is true, all right? This is a, this is a valid proportion now. And I don't really know why I put in those parentheses there. I don't need them. All right. So now what we have to do is we somehow got to prove, right, that a 90% decrease in laminar flow. So let, let's first start there. There's a 90% decrease in laminar flow. So that means that the new flow rate will be 19% less than the original, correct? So what that means is if I were to put that into, you know, a math equation, that means I would have something like this, where I would take 1 minus then 0 0.19, right, converting this into a percent. Right, if you think about it, this uh, you can state this in two ways. All right, a 19% a 19% decrease is equivalent to essentially 81% uh, of the original value. Okay, my yeah. If you can read this, that'd be that's great. I, I hope I hopefully you can. It looks like hieroglyphics to me. It's kind of kind of embarrassing. I mean, my my dad has like the neatest handwriting I've ever seen of of anyone. I mean, it's like it's like a human typewriter. I don't quite understand it. And somehow when I write, it looks like I'm spasming uncontrollably. Uh, anyway, so what we have here is uh, we realize that this is equivalent to one another. So hopefully, you know, you can write it this way if you wanted, but if you realize that this will simplify now to be that the the new flow rate will be equivalent to the old flow rate multiplied by 0.81 or 81% of it, right? So these are equivalent to one another. I'm going to use, I mean, they're both the same, right? But I'm going to use this since it's a little more simplified. So I realize that QO relative to now QN, I can substitute this on in for my QN. So this is QO times now 0 0.81. So notice what happens, right? This goes by by. Okay, great. Then that's now, oops, let me get back to that color. Then now, right, we are now talking about the relationship between the, uh, between the radii. So now just reorganizing this, right? I know I can write this. I can write RO over RN and this whole ratio now raised to the fourth power. All right, that's just laws of exponents. So this is what I'm going to use now in my, uh, in, my, uh, in my next part, okay? So now it says a 5% decrease in the radius. So I'm not going to belabor this point. It's the same thing now just in terms of the radius. That the radius, the new radius will be equal to the old radius multiplied by 1 minus that percent decrease of 0 0.05. In other words, the new radius is going to be 95% of the old radius. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is plug that into my equation, right, for the new radius here. So it's going to be the old radius, old radius divided then by uh, RO times 0 0.95. And this whole thing raised this whole thing now raised to the fourth power. So let's cancel some stuff, right? That goes bye-bye. So what are we left with simply? We're left with 1 over 0 0.81 is equivalent to 1 over 0 0.95 raised to the fourth. Is this, is this true? Well, do this in the calculator and plug this into the calculator and see what you get. Or, I mean, you can distribute the 4 to each, right? You could just take this, raise the 0.95 to the 4th, and see if it's equivalent to 0.81. I mean, there's a whole bunch of ways to do this, right? It doesn't really matter. 
I'm going to do 1 divided by 0.81. So that comes out to be about 1.23. So this is 1.23. And now I'm going to see if the other side is equivalent. So 1 divided by 0.95 all raised to the uh, fourth power. And look, right? It's very, very close. So 1.23 if we consider the rounding, right? So that is indeed true. This is good. All right, so we just proved it. Uh, so that takes care of letter A. And now it says letter B. What in uh, what do we got? What increase in flow is obtained from a five percent increase in the radius? Again, assuming all other things remain constant. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is again, I'm just thinking maybe we can uh, shortcut this a little bit. So there's going to be part B. Yeah, so we got a five percent increase right in the radius. Now this is a percent increase, so uh, we can look at this essentially the same way that we now have the only thing, the part that's changing is now the new radius, right? I'm going to write down my new equation. Uh, so it's gonna be that the, that the new radius will be equal to the old radius, multiplied by now one plus 0.05, right? Because there's a 5% increase. So in other words, Rn will be equal to Ro times 1.05. Great. Now what I'm gonna do is again, use this overall equation. So I have QO over QN will be equal to RO over RN all raised to the fourth. Now I'm going to plug this value in for RN. Okay, so it's QO over QN will be equal to RO over 1.05 times RO all raised to the fourth power. So guess what? Bye bye RO. We'll see you later. All right, and now we're left with QO over QN will be equal to uh, 1 over 1.05, and now this is going to be raised to the fourth power, right? So what is what do we come up with? Okay, so let's plug this on in, and then we have to make sure that this is exactly what the uh, equation is asking for, okay? So let's just take a look. So this is going to be 1 divided by 1.05, and then raise that to the fourth. So this is saying that QO... QO over QN, meaning the, the ratio between the old flow rate and the new flow rate, okay, is equivalent to 0 0.82, roughly 0 0.8, 0 0.82 all over 1. Now, this doesn't sound like an increase, right? It sounds like a fraction, which it is, but you got to remember how we're framing this, right? This is telling us that the old flow rate is 82% of the new flow rate. In other words, the new flow rate is greater, correct? Now, if you want to find the amount that the new flow rate has increased, you essentially need this in the numerator. So now all we have to do here is flip this and flip this. So we get now QN over QO will be equal to then 1 over 0 0.82. Okay, and now just do the re reciprocal of this, basically. And that works out to be about 1.2. All right, 1.2 to 1. Now, this ratio makes more sense given the context of the question. Both ratios are fine, but it just says, it says what increase in flow? Well, a 1.2 time increase. Now we see the, the amount of increase, okay? So to answer this question, right, the, the new flow rate, Q sub n, is 1.2 times that of QO. Okay, and also if you notice here, right, doing a cross multiplication down here, that's what it would be. Qn equals 1.2 times n if you cross multiplied q sub o. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.